In 2022, the Bills are Super Bowl favorites. Their greatest asset, Josh Patrick Allen. However, he was not the first pick. In fact, six guys were drafted ahead of him in the 2018 NFL Draft. And today, we're going to be looking at those six players and seeing where they're at now. Number six, Quentin Nelson out of the University of Notre Dame. Coming into the 2018 NFL Draft, Nelson was one of the most touted offensive linemen available. And in fact, he was the first lineman drafted at number six overall to the Indianapolis Colts. His NFL career, and just letting you know you can't say this about many people, lived up and exceeded its expectations. Often looked at as one of the best offensive linemen in the league, Nelson to this day has four Pro Bowls, every single year of his career so far in the NFL and has made the All-Pro team three times. Nothing short of spectacular. At number five, Bradley Chubb out of North Carolina State University. After finishing a great final two seasons at NC State, combining for a total of 20 sacks and four forced fumbles, Chubb was highly touted and often compared to Miles Garrett from the previous year. His greatest attribute was probably his power and speed that he could use to get around defenders easily. While Chubb had a great rookie season, finishing with 12 sacks, 4 forced fumbles, and 3rd in the Defensive Rookie of the Year voting, injuries have derailed his career a bit. He only played 4 games in 2019 and only 7 games in 2021. While the potential was there and the health has been a concern, there's no doubting that the Broncos got a great player at number 5 overall. Now, was he worth the number five overall pick? You guys let me know in the comments. Number four, Denzel Ward out of The Ohio State University. Ward was a lockdown corner all throughout his college career and honestly one of the best corners I've ever watched at Ohio State, which is impressive because of the fact that guys like Marshawn Lattimore, Bradley Roby, Jeff Okuda, and the infamous Eli Apple have also played at Ohio State. Ward also provided us with one of the best Gus Johnson calls of all time. Ward Schlager to the sideline, caught first down. Woo! What a hit! Denzel Ward! You got barbecue back there? And you didn't invite me? Hurt my feelings! And let's be honest, I think Gus Johnson was just a fan like the rest of us that randomly wandered into a booth one day and they were like, yeah, we're going to keep you. Ward's NFL career, however, has been nothing less than stellar. The Browns agree with that statement so much, in fact, that they signed him to an $100 million deal, five years, up to $20.1 million a year. Impressive to say the least. And number three, Sam Darnold out of the University of Southern California. Oh, where do I begin? Many people honestly thought that Darnold was the number one QB in that class and would have taken him number one overall if they had the chance. And well, Darnold's career has been a bust and a half. And he's provided the NFL community with some of the most despicable quarterback play in the last decade. I mean, just look at this. I don't think anything else has to be said. And number two, Saquon Barkley out of Penn State. Whether in college you called him the cheat code or a generational talent, there's no denying that he was one of the best running backs to ever do it in college. And trust me, once again, coming from an OSU fan, I've had my fair share of experiences with this guy. And back deep, the dangerous one, Saquon Barkley. Nurnberger will send it away, Ohio State, Penn State, and we're underway from Columbus. Barkley from inside his own five. Barkley with a lead. Barkley with a burst. Barkley down the sideline. Saquon Barkley runs the opening kick. 97 yards. Touchdown, Nittany Lions. No flags. 
none of them good. Going into the draft, there was a lot of hype around them. And at number two overall, the Giants broke every rule in the book about running backs and drafted him and took a chance. And at first, it looked like this first round running back gamble paid off. In 2018, Barkley had an impressive 1,307 yards with 11 touchdowns, earning himself a trip to the Pro Bowl and winning the Offensive Rookie of the Year. However, first round running backs can only last so long, and his sophomore year, he had a big slump. As Barkley began to deal with injuries throughout the next few seasons, he didn't do so well. He only has a total of eight touchdowns in the previous three seasons and only a little bit over 1,600 yards. While it looks like this year he could bounce back with a new revamped offense under Brian Dable and some new offensive linemen such as Evan Neal to help him out, only time will tell if this second round gamble will pay off. And finally, number one overall in the 2018 class, the notorious face of progressive flag planting on the middle logo, Baker Mayfield. The Heisman winner had a fair share of his college moments, both good and bad. And it seemed like to the Browns that year, skill and talent outweighed the personality. And he was drafted number one overall. And he was given the task to turn the Browns franchise around. And while maybe not as flashy and quick as guys like Burrow or Allen, Baker did his job. He may have never popped off the stat sheet, never eclipsing 4,000 yards or breaking 30 touchdowns, but he led the Browns back to the playoffs after an 18 year drought. Now is Baker still leading the Browns to success? Nope, they signed a creep to a $230 million deal, fully guaranteed, and now he's suspended 11 games and fined $5 million. Baker though, is onto a new situation in Carolina, and it looks like he'll be the starter and has the rumored job over Sam Darnold. And the best part about it, Browns travel to Carolina week one. And I can't believe I'm saying this as a Bengals fan, but I'm going to be rooting for Baker week one and rooting hard. All right, guys, that's going to be it for the video. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you guys want to see more videos like this, just let me know in the comments. Also, if you want to cop a sticker, these stickers are actually fire. Just check those out. Cop a sticker in my shop, link in the bio. That'd be much appreciated. Other than that, make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.